What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Life with Wendy Mother. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Wendy Mother, aka Mama Fabian. I'd like to welcome you to the Life with Wendy Mother family. Woo! Yay! <laughs> So welcome back to my channel guys if you're new here make sure that you hit that subscribe button and join the life with Wendy mother familia so you guys can see I have a bit of changes uh, behind me I'm just trying to create like a you know a cute space here this this painting it's not really a painting but this portrait it says keep life simple you know all the things here they they really stand for a lot of what I believe in. So this says keep life simple. Usi complicate Maisha, you know? Just keep life simple. And then we have like a few, um, you know, what are they called? Affirmations here. Like this one says you believe, you should cherish, cherish the people that are in your life, cherish other people in your life. Um, love, we have laugh, make sure that you're happy and you laugh always, you know? hope dream and inspire so every time i come in front of this um camera i am looking to give hope i'm looking to achieve my dreams i'm looking to you know inspire a few people if not a lot i'm looking to pass love i'm looking to laugh a lot like i usually do i'm looking to believe in anything and everything and i'm looking to cherish each and every moment that i have in my life by keeping it simple and also by counting my blessings <laughs> anyway let's get on into the video on today's topic eh, this nairobi called though eh, 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 eh. on today's topic um i'm going to be focusing on something really serious that has been going on in our country of late the kidnappings that are happening it's not even a freaking joke guys children are being kidnapped left right and center i don't know what is in the air i don't know what type of devil it is that is going on right now but watoto wanaibiwa at a very alarming rate to the point where you cannot leave your kid unattended for even a minute for even like five minutes without knowing where your kid is because especially with a stranger or just especially with someone who you're not sure or someone who's not directly related to your child and even those that are directly related they have to be like you know people that you really really trust so the main focus of today's video is just so that we can learn on different ways of you know bringing awareness to our kids or just making sure our kids have this type of information especially if your kids are as young as mine for example fabian is now turning four years yeah Fabian has reached a stage in his life where he wants to explore outside, he wants to be with his friends because nowadays mom is boring. So he, he really wants to, you know, be in the company of other kids like him. And that means like he wants to be outside most of the time and outside there are different types of people that are passing outside. And just because your estate is an enclosed estate for example in our estate even our house girl cannot leave the house with fabian like she cannot go out of the estate with fabian without my permission or without like being told like she can go with the baby um like showing showing what is it called showing proof that she's been allowed to go with the baby outside the estate so being outside exposes the child to a lot of um strangers I don't know, there's something that's really um, choking me. <coughs> so, it has, like, especially when these cases um, started coming on the news, like, for like a week, it, it was just showing like kids have been kidnapped, kids are being killed and all that stuff. So I really started panicking. I didn't want Fabian to go outside alone. Like, I'd go and check on him. If I'm not checking on him, it's either the dad or the house help who's watching him so we make sure that he doesn't go out unattended so we're just trying to find ways or this is just a video to show you guys on ways that you can you know prevent your child from finding themselves in a jeopardizing situation with a stranger or to find themselves with a stranger and then they start freaking out because even kids freak out when they're with people that they don't know so first things first especially if you're a parent to a toddler kids who are like five and below not disregarding kids that are five and above but we're just focusing on those below who are like you know they, they don't really have like a concept of unim uh, tumbaya unim tumzuri like they're just you know happy you can to sweet and you know things like that 
So one of the main things I, I, I really, really push for with Fabian is do not go to people's houses. My son does not play in people's houses. My son does not, you will never find Fabian at Yamenda Mekakwa Wenyewe. I am those moms gladly. Now I understand why my mom used to tell us, I'm a, why African parents normally say, Usenda kwa, ke, kwa wenyewe? Hmm? Nesikupata umenda kwa wenyewe? Usikule kwa wenyewe? All those things. Now I understand why like our parents are str so strict with that statement. I make sure guys that Fabian does not go into people's houses by telling him usiende kwa wenyewe and Fabian just generally even before I even like sat him down and talked to him like guys talk to your kids they actually understand what you're saying and they're not stupid like talk to them like grown-ups and they'll you know they'll process the information like grown-ups even though they are still kids so even before I, I sat him down and told him about all these things Fabian never used to go to play to people's houses like in people's houses Fabian is a very you know He's a very independent kid, but at the same time, he's very shy. So he doesn't like being in spaces where he feels uncomfortable. At the same time, he doesn't like being in enclosed spaces for a very long period of time with people that he doesn't know. That's just the type of kid that he is. So make sure that you, you really talk to your kids and tell them not to go to people's houses. And if they're going to go to people's houses, let you be there. Like, when you went on and now to your friend's house, you have a cup of tea, then you go back home together. You understand? But don't make it a habit for your kid to be spending time in people's houses because one, you never know what he's going to eat there. Two, you never know what people do in those in their houses. You know the the rules or the what is it? I don't call them rules, but how you raise your child is not how your neighbor is going to raise their child. You know, and it's something you might be telling your kid not to do, and then they go to this house and they see another kid doing, it and they're like, "Mbono mtoto na kubalisha wachata mi nifanye." Then they come back home and you're realizing, "I eat a beer metoa wapi," only to realize they picked it up from your neighbor or like from somebody else's house. So. Make it a habit, not just because it's not safe. Don't allow your kids to go to people's houses. And don't be the one who houses people, houses people's kids in your house. You understand? Don't let other kids come to your house unless it's like for a party. You know, like let's say it's Fabian's birthday and I call a couple of kids to come and cut cake for him and stuff like that. But other than that, try as much as possible to not let kids come to your house. Because if anything goes wrong, while well, that kid is under your supervision, it's going to be a really big issue. Secondly, like I was saying, talk to your children, explain to them, you know, like especially after all this um, stuff was going around about kids being kidnapped, kidnapped, I actually sat Fabian down and I told him, Fabian, children are being taken, you know, not to scare him, but I just want him to know, like to be aware. And he actually understood me. I told him, Fabian, they're like kids being taken, or they're taking, they're being taken away from their mamas and their dadas without people knowing, nini, nini, you know, so I'm just explaining to him the situation that is going on so that he can also be aware, like, eh, uh, um, to, this person is trying to take me, or this person uh, is looking like he's not wanting anything good for me, and he can distance himself from them, from them. I know it seems like a long stretch, but it's better you tell them because I, I tend to believe like they understand everything that we say. Talk to your kids, tell them, explain to them what is going on without being like, going into the details or without being like, you know, brutal with the information. Just tell them juju to like in a joke, in a, in a light way, but with, with a lot of like firmness so that they can know like it's a serious thing. Because kids know when their parents are serious and they know when their parents are joking. Um, make it a habit. For your kids to not be too friendly to strangers for example do not meet someone and then tell your your child hey, party hug i'm a party high five you know i'm a say hi i'm a someone gives the kid something and you're like hey chukwetu, nisa, you know because though the kid the next time they see this person they'll believe like Asunil, ule this is your friend or this is someone that mom knows so if they give me something it's okay for me to take it because mama and i'm jua you understand and probably this is just someone who passes, um, who passes you or who passes like your kid and just, you know, it's just friendly. There are people who are just generally friendly, but you never know. This is just a precaution to just be safe. So do not make your kids become friendly to people just, just for the sake, just because they're kids. You know, I feel like when, when people who tell kids that, he, oh, mpate hug, oh, mpate kiss, like, eh? 
how how you know that's 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 don't do that guys even if it's like somebody is coming to visit you and then you're like hey i'm pati with your hug hey i'm pati with kids only auntie only uncle nasi auntie nasi uncle you understand this is just like your friend and it's not even your close friend like ni mtu tu ah to mama wacha leo tukutane tukae chini you understand so kids will take this as a as a sign that this is your friend or as a sign that this is someone that mom knows so the next time this person god forbid comes and tells your kid kuja twende hapa your child will go and that is the last time you will see your child and that is exactly what we are trying to avoid don't teach kids to be too over friendly to people especially if they are not close to you or especially if they are not people who like you trust you understand another thing is learn to create boundaries between your safe space and you know uh like you being out there you create um a safe environment for your kids to be able to come and talk to you and to tell you hey mom this and this happened even if it's in school even if it's like outside in the estate when they're playing you understand like create a safe space for them to be able to come and communicate with you that way you're able to know and you're able to detect whether somebody has been treating your kid being too friendly to your child or somebody has been like you know trying to get something from your child you understand like there's so many evil people out here you guys wouldn't even believe it even me personally i don't believe it like especially when it comes to innocent kids and somebody has been blinded by just you know tamana hizo vitu zote za maisha because mostly these kids are being kidnapped wanaenda kuuzwa and kuuzwa obviously is money eh, i just cannot imagine that mother who sleeps at night knowing that her child has been taken only to find her child dead somewhere or just to never find them kabisa kama mtoto wako ameenda akauza so it's very important for you to create boundaries especially in your home don't just let anyone into your home don't just let anyone into your kids lives like protect them the best way that you can as much as possible you know like do your best to create an environment for them where they feel so safe or they are so secure to the point where even if somebody tried to penetrate to come and take them or somebody tried to want and to harm them you know you would know even before it happens so create boundaries create a safe space like just be the type of parent who is always involved in their kids lives you understand even with house um housekeepers because housekeepers they are mostly the ones who go and like you know they give out your kid to somebody else like create boundaries between you and your housekeeper make sure that you also know where they come from you know you know they are who is who you know their family you know all the things you know if any shit is sorry for that language you know that if anything is to go wrong you know exactly where to find this person you understand or if this person is to do anything to your child you know exactly where to find them but at the same time ensure that your kid knows like to respect them and to show them like you know the respect that is needed without them having to over you know over smother them with the fact that hey ati uni anti akos ju ni 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 you know like don't give your housekeeper too much authority over the de the decisions that happen in your kids life like they're the ones who are left with their children most of the time especially if you go to work you know and you're not home that much often but make sure that unaniwa there's a fine line between um kazina there's a fine line between you know uh professionalism and now just becoming something else you know that's how you end up like unasikia oh ni auntie auntie kidogo anaanza kushika shika mtoto in a certain way and it becomes another story and that is a story for another day that we are not going to touch because people are discussing out here so yeah guys these are just a few pointers that you can put into place to ensure that your kids are safe i know that there are more out there and i know that um there's so much we can do to take care of our kids talk to your kids guys set boundaries create safe spaces for your children you know always keep an eye out for people who are over friendly to your kids and just you know let's take care of our kids man they, they are the future generation and they're just so so precious and so innocent like i don't i don't really see myself like i don't see how you know such a small child can be exposed to the cruelty of this world and as parents it is our responsibility to take care of our kids ensure that they are safe and most importantly it is very important for us to pray for them 
pray for God to always protect them, to always take care of them no matter where they are. Even if you're not there, let the Holy Spirit walk with your kids and make sure that they are always okay and they're always taken care of and no harm formed against them will ever prosper and yeah that's the end of today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have anything to add on to what i've said on just any pointer that you may give fellow moms that have worked for you to ensure that you keep your kids safe especially from strangers or just from you know bad things happening uh, to them please engage me in the comments and we can you know change notes and stuff like that because this channel is all about learning and empowering young moms new moms and just mothers in general um, so that it can create a safe space for moms to be able to share their stories as well as be there for one another in case of anything or in case of anything new that we may face as mothers so thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video don't forget to like comment share 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 and subscribe click the bell button so that you can receive a notification every time that i post a new video and i'll see you guys next time don't forget to leave love be anything that you want to be bye